Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with Steam client bootstrapper not responding or has stopped working. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up Steam and then select Steam up in the top left corner. So select that top tab and then go down and select settings. And you want to select the Downloads button on the left side. And now you want to go to where it says Clear Download Cache. Clearing the Download Cache may resolve issues downloading or starting apps. Go ahead and select Clear Download Cache. This will clear the local download cache and you will need to log into Steam again. If you wish to continue, select OK. And now you will need to sign back into Steam once Steam relaunches. Or you can go ahead and actually open it up. And then you should re-sign back into Steam and hopefully that would have resolved the problem. Something else we can try here as well, if you open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and then select run as administrator. And if you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. If you type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back with successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter, and it should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of here and actually restart your device at this time. And then hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.